Whatever it is, make it fast. I don't want to deal with anything right now. I need you to give me the name of someone who can give me more of these pills. Zach. I'm starting to remember things again, and I can't let that happen. You have to have the number for someone. I do. But just leave me out of it, okay? What are you writing there? A note to Beth. <laughs> How third grade of you. She won't talk to me, and if I'm guilty, I'll never see her again. I have to tell her. Tell her what? That you're sorry that you killed for her? No. She won't believe me. That's because you killed me. And everyone knows it. I'm not denying that. Well, I am to get out of here, but... I'd kill you again. To save Beth. Good to know. I didn't kill Sarah. There's something else. The jury's not gonna believe any of this. I can't even testify to what I'm starting to remember, but someone else was there before I killed you. Someone... You're sounding just like a crazy man. And a liar, too. Beth Don't forget about that. Beth has to know. Were you talking to yourself? Yeah. Being locked up will do that to you. Uh, look. There's something I need you to give to Beth. Uh, aren't you supposed to be at the trial? Yeah, I'm on my way. What's wrong? I just gotta testify here in an hour. Uh, do you know what you're gonna say? I know, I know what Jack and Willie want me to say. I know what I rehearsed, but I don't know if I want to say it. Do you think I'm right for testifying for Willie? I don't know. Willie was a good friend of mine in high school, but at the same time, like, he did kill somebody. There's no denying that. was a that. mistake he did for Beth. He's not a murderer. I just, I don't want everybody to be angry at me over this. My dead dad is ashamed of me, and I don't want everyone else to be like that too. You think by testifying for Willie it's going to fix things with your father? That's kind of messed up. Maybe, but I don't know what else to do. I've been feeling like crap ever since he died, and I don't see myself getting any better. I just can't take much more of this. Much more of what? This! All of us! All of our friends hating each other, uh, problems in class, uh, work with Gunderson, Martha, who I haven't even seen in a month. I just wish I wasn't in this position right now. Well, Tim, you are. Listen, I'll tell Aaron that I can't hang out today. I'm getting sick of her and Chelsea's little Nancy Drew party anyway. I'll go, I'll go see you testify. We'll get things figured out. Tim, you do have friends, you know, and you're still going to after this is all over. I'm not sure. You be careful around my ex. Get away from me. Is that any way to talk to a defense attorney? Yep. No, today is the last day of testimony. Closing arguments are tomorrow. Let's go out and celebrate either way. I hate you. Present from Willie. How would you describe my client? Uh, he's been my best friend since third grade. So you know him pretty well. Do you think he's capable of killing Max? No. Willie, he really thinks things out before he does anything. He wouldn't act rashly. At any point in time over the last 16 months, did he imply that he killed Max? No. Did he act any different after Max's death? Well, he was pretty shooken up for a while, but then he got back to normal. Thank you. Your witness. Mr. Stewart, how much time have you spent with the defendant since uh, Max Gossard's death? I'm uh, on and off. I'm, uh, I've been very busy in the last year. Busy working on that internship, correct? Yes. The same one as Max Gossard? Mm-hmm. Yes. So is that why you and Mr. Lawrence were friends? You both benefited from the death of Max Gossard? Objection! Sustained. How well can you judge his character? How often have you spent time with him since the defendant's arrest? A few times. Uh, last time was in late December. What was the reason for your visit? I just wanted to catch up and see how he was doing. Isn't it true that he called you and tried to convince you to testify on his behalf? Well, yeah. But no further explanation he didn't. Thank you. 
Will Melanie even care? Of course, Melanie cares about everything. Besides, I've tried calling Vanessa all week and she hasn't picked up. Erin, what are you doing here? I, aren't you going to the trial today? Blake just texted me, he said that Tim's already done testifying and that Willie's going on the stand after lunch. No, Melanie, Zach's doing pills again. What pills? The ones that Beth gave him. Is he still getting them from Beth? No. I found this in the bathroom. It's the number of someone who deals drugs. How did you find that out? Um, the hard way. Look, he's getting the pills from someone and we don't know what to do. I'll talk to Beth. We have to make the jury think you're a nice guy. I think I can manage that. Really? It's, it's quite a stretch. And don't put the blame anywhere else. But I didn't do it, and there was someone else who... Yeah, see, talk like that makes you look guilty. Now stick to what we rehearsed, and we might be able to pull this off. I hope not. I have like 50 grand in ghost dollars writing on this case. So what will you do if Willie gets acquitted? That's not gonna happen. Well, do you think he's gonna come after you after everything you said about him? No, I don't. Beth, I need to talk to you. Gina, go away. No, I need to cover everything about the trial. This isn't about the trial. Hey, you made it. Like, not now. Beth, what is this? Looks like a phone number. That you gave Zach so that he could get more pills? Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, Beth's chucking him again. No, I'm not. Zach wanted the pills, so I gave him the number of a guy who could help him out. You're helping Zach forget his past again. He wants to. You guys just need to stay out of this. If he wants to do this with his life, he can. Hey, what's this? Hmm. It's from Willie. Hey, get that back. It's just him saying that there's more to why he killed Max than... Than what? You suddenly believe him now? Well, I don't know. He said there's more to the story. Maybe there is. Well, I'm sure he'll tell us in court. Here he comes now. Um, well, uh, I drank too much that night. I overheard Beth and Max talking about her secret. I couldn't sleep, and I, I went to talk to Max. The conversation we heard earlier on video file. Yes? The file ends with Max telling you to go to bed. Then you knock his hat off. What happens after that? He stumbled over. He was a little drunk. Uh, I eventually helped him up, but I told him that Beth could take care of this on her own, and she would be better if he left her alone. Did he agree? He said he would let me talk to her about it, and together we could make her stop. Then what happened? I went to bed. What happened the night of Sarah Thompson's murder? Well, I had just been dumped by Beth. I was pretty distraught. I didn't try to fix anything between her and I. I. I just went to bed and I didn't see her for about a month. And you didn't see Sarah at all that night? No. Uh, the last time I saw her was the Christmas party about a year ago. The night you were arrested, did you attack Vanessa Levingson? I didn't attack her. I was trying to figure out if she was going to get Beth in trouble and I may have been a little angry, but I didn't hurt her. And when Beth Cleary confronted you and claimed you killed Max, how did you respond? I was in shock. I, I started to think that she was yelling at me for questioning Vanessa. So I told her I was trying to save her. So you didn't confess to her that you killed Max? No. I wouldn't confess to a crime I didn't commit. I was just trying to protect her. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. No further questions. Oh, crap. Sorry, did you just say something? No. Sorry, I was just listening to what you were saying, and I didn't hear too many facts in there.